Hello beautiful artist. I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to my 100 day project. On Mondays and Thursdays we'll be exploring three colors then paint a subject to see what magic they create. Thank you so much for being here. Now let's go paint. Welcome to another day in my 100 day project. This will be day five and six. We're gonna be doing this leaf with these colors and we're gonna do a little color mixing inside this journal. I've got all these today are Daniel Smith colors. I've got Aurelian, Hermatite Violet Genuine, and Lunar Blue. Now these two are granulating but I am in love with this Aurelian. So I wanted to see what it could do with both colors. So Aurelian is going to be the middle color today so we can see what happens with the mixes. I've already got them out here on my palette. That's the Aurelian, the Hermatite Violet, and the Lunar Blue. So let me get it opened here. I'm going to do color on this side, color mixing, and then we're going to do the leaf with the colors once that's all finished. I'm going to start with the lunar blue, I think. It's a different color for me. I really don't use a lot of blues. But this one I like because it's granulating and it's a little more gray than indigo. So it's a pretty color. I want a nice little puddle here because we're gonna be mixing the yellow into it. And I just touch a little bit of yellow and I want to make sure the puddle changes. I'm going to mix these quite well because the Aurelian, I mean the Lunar Blue is a granulated color. And I need to make sure I'm using more water. I was wondering what kind of green these two would make. It's very pretty. It's starting to drag a little by that. I can feel it really pushing, so I'm gonna dip into a little bit more water. There we go. And you can see it's kind of going from a blue to a brighter green. And can you see kind of the granulation happening here? Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush now and go to straight yellow. While this is still kind of wet, I'm going to just splash some water on this. The 
This reminds me of like a French mustard yellow. You can see I didn't have my brush cleaned really well. Let's see if we can blot that off of there. better <laughs> okay that's pretty now I splashed up here so I'm going to get some of that water off I just want to see the lifting qualities see if it lifts nice oh yeah look at that that's beautiful okay from here now we're going to add the team hematite violet genuine and this color is interesting. Let me make a nice puddle of the yellow first. This hematite violet, it's kind of a yellowish hue to it. I'm sorry, the hematite violet genuine has a purplish cast to it and it separates so it almost has like a flesh tone and a black kind of together like a purple black so I'm thinking that the two might gray each other out because of them being yellow and violet which are complementary colors but we'll see what happens here I don't want that much in my yellow You can see it's already dirty in that yellow. You can see how quickly this color changes because it's a lighter value. really graying it down but I'm loving these colors because I do a lot of nature work so think of lichen and fall leaves and bark that right there is a really great bark color before they dry too far I want to splash some of these colors Okay, now I'm going to go straight to that hematite violet. And again, I'm going to splash these last couple rows here. I want to get some on that color. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got some granulating up there. Do you see all that up there? Now, granulating color, what it does is it soaks down into the texture of the paper and separates a little. And I should have that with this once it starts drying. You can see a little bit of it in here. Okay, we're going to work on this big leaf now. 
For the leaf, I want it to mostly be the yellow because I'm exploring the yellow here in this color combination. I'm trying to get these like earthy colors. I like this and we're going to see what the blue then and this color mat does as well. So let me grab my other brush and I'm just using a quill brush for this like a round brush. If it was a round brush size, probably like an eight or a 10. So let's see how we're going to approach this color. Let's start with just some yellow here in the middle. Look how bright that is. Gonna then go into the blue here. And I wanna see what happens when these two overlap too. Is one color gonna be stronger than the other? As far as blending, you can see the yellow is resisting. It doesn't really accept the color. So I'm gonna to have to really push it in there. Okay, let's get some of this hematite violet in there. So I want to see how this mixes with the blue, but also the yellow. If there is a give and take, you know, see how that's going. They blend really nice. Let's push it into the yellow and see what happens. Okay, before this starts drying, I'm going to dip my fingers into some water. I want to get a really dark corner up here with that hematite. See if it will really granulate for me. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, I'm liking the colors. These two merging is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to add some really dark blue up here. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful melt there. Start pulling some of that blue here. I wanted to do the full leaf, which is why I'm st struggling over two pages here or the center. All right, let's add some more hematite here. Let's mix it with this green and see what happens. Splashing again. Definitely need to get some splashes up in here. Okay, we're going to go with some more yellow here and see what happens. I love that hematite addition here. Let's add it over here as well. Okay, so let's mix this blue and the yellow together and a little bit of that color hematite. See what kind of color we can come up with. That's kind of a muddy green, I like that.
I'm liking that color mix. The hematite is coming out really nice. It's going to granulate really pretty. I like that deep blue, so let's add another deep blue down here. Maybe with a little bit of the green. I'm going to do a yellow tip there. I think I'm just going to take this yellow by itself. It's so bizarre how the yellow doesn't mix. This side is drying quite fast, so I've got to splash that. This brown color is really pretty. Did you see how that color changed right here? It's really a pretty gray. It's all three of them mixed. It's got a lovely tone. Okay, just gonna drop some water in here. Now, I would have never thought of using these three colors together, but I'm really, really pleased with them. I like the way the blue and the hematite mingled, but I also like the way the yellow mingled with all of them. But all three together made that really beautiful color. I love that color. So I'm going to try to mix that again and get it in another place while it's still wet.
It's a really lovely gray. So I've got kind of a white wet puddle here I can put it in. That's too dry up there. All right. Where I added this, I'm just going to drop a little bit of water. Once this is dry, I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, it's dry, and you can see it has a lot of texture on this leaf. And what I like is it really allowed me to explore the yellow quite a bit. You can see yellow in almost all the quadrants except for up here. I left the hematite and the blue kind of mingle with each other. But everywhere else the yellow was added. And if you look here, you can see almost all those colors reflected over here, and I really like that. I really like these more neutral tones, and when I mixed all three, I love that color. It kind of reminds me of zoazite a little bit. So let me bring you up so you can see the beautiful granulation in, in this leaf. And you can see this is what happens to the hematite too. Do you see the little flesh color? So it separates into that purpley gray and that flesh. And I really like that. And look how it kind of mingled with that blue. That's really lovely in there. A lot of beautiful granulation. This is where the three colors mixed. I love that coloration. I really like the separation here and there and that area too. How it's the hematite and the blue and then the blue sharp that sharpness there. So I really like this colors. The whole reason for me wanting to do this as my 100 day project is I've got a lot of new watercolors and I don't really know how to mix them or what to mix them with. So this has given me a little bit of play, a little bit of practice, and I'm having fun putting this color into an, a subject. Now granted, do leaves look like that? No, but I have leaves at my access and it's something that I love to paint. I wanted this to be where I concentrated and this where I played just a little. So thanks for joining me on day five and six of the 100 Day Project.